Well, to have an electric car, you need to, you know, charge it either at home or on the road. And many companies who make charging stations, they have also had their stocks on Fuego. But if you are thinking of plugging into the space, maybe think again. Here to throw some cold water on the plug-in is a company who is a man who's always plugged in, Herb Greenberg. Senior editor of Empire Financial Research, CNBC contributor, a good man, and I'm glad to see you again. Herb, you recently wrote about this, no doubt, uh, raising the ire of the EV fanatics. Why are you saying avoid the charging companies? Well, let me put this in, in context for you, Brian. And by the way, it's great to be with you again. But let me, let me put this in context with, for, for you. It, there's, a, there's a podcast I listen to. It's called The Million Dollar Podcast. It's run by two guys I work with who are former hedge fund guys, Gabe Marshank and Enrique Abeda. And the concept of this podcast is that somebody who knows nothing about investing basically is trying to make a lot of money by listening to these guys. So he comes in, he says, I want to make, I have $1,000 to invest for 10, 20 years. And he says, I have this brilliant idea. He says, I want to put it into EV charging stations. And immediately, without skipping a beat, Gabe goes, that's, that's a terrible idea. Then he thinks about it, he goes, it's a despicable idea. So why is it? And why am I here talking about this and why do I write about it? Because when you think about it, it's like everything that seems so hot in the moment. And remember, we're talking about the time Rivian came out. We're talking about the lucid time. But what is a charging station? What's the reality of the business? You know, there will be increased competition. There are no barriers to entry. The space ultimately becomes commoditized. And you can take this down the road to very different incarnations that would suggest you know, they're just, you know, you get price competition. Who knows how it's going to go? But I think it's it's one of those things that we've seen before with other types of businesses that sound great, but it's not the way you want to go into this if you're looking for a longer term play. Hey, Herb, it's Jeff Mills. Uh, quick question for you. Hey, so um, maybe sort of a two-parter, but obviously not the charging companies, uh, maybe not even the automakers in the EV space. So um, would you want sort of more of the traditional Ford GM? Do you think they're going to continue to benefit? And if not, what related EV plays, companies that might benefit from the trend but that aren't directly manufacturing the cars, would you look to? Well, this, is, this has been, a great, this has been a, a great theme by all the folks I work with at Empire because what they had is they had something they called technology as a service. It was a theme. But they were looking at the, 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 the pick and shovel type of guys. So they were looking... Some of these have really run up, but they were looking at, and they still are, NVIDIA, Aptiv, and Google, because Google, you get the, the Waymo play. So you're not getting the pure plays, but at least you're getting some exposure. And if it really takes off, you get that, that, that added kick, which you're already getting right now, but it hasn't even really kicked in. So that's, that's probably the safest way to go. Okay, well, it's, it's, it's a piece that everybody should read. Check it out on LinkedIn and other spots. Herb, love seeing you again, my friend. Hope everything's great out there in San Diego. It is, Brian. Thank you. Founded in 1909 by you. the Germans. All right, Guy Dami, let's trade this. I mean, EV Go and some of these other names, they've been hot. Herb makes some good points. You also got to buy the copper. Oh, by the way, a lot of these things get vandalized, too. People like to steal the, uh, the copper and stuff uh, that are in them. What's your take on the, the charging space? Yeah, I'm, I'm not advocating stealing copper from sites, number one. What I am advocating is to read Herb's work because, as we've said for years, it's extraordinarily thoughtful. And, you know, I think Herb would be the first person to tell you. I mean, he's, these are not fast money trades necessarily, but you avoid or you don't, don't read Herb's stuff at your own peril. What I will say is, in this piece, he also mentioned names like American Tower, which, you know, I wouldn't have thought of. And you read this piece and it starts to make sense. So names like Aptiv, American Tower, Crown Castle, I mean, these are names that have had tremendous runs, but when you read Herb's piece, you realize, you know, they're at the forefront of something that's really interesting. So that's where I would go. But the first yeah. place I'd go is to read what Herb just wrote. Yeah, and by the way, I was just in the U.K. last week. You know what they're doing there? They're putting charging stations, effectively stations, into lampposts. So it's not like a dedicated thing. It's like linked in to the power from the light, which is kind of cool. One, one wonders if you can compete with the major utilities as well, Guy, thank you very much.